Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. For those of you unfamiliar with this series, this is my very first Resident Evil game ever. It's not a blind playthrough, but I'm completely unexperienced with the genre. This is not the kind of game I usually choose to play. I'm playing this for the benefit of a fellow YouTuber, Lottery. There is a link to his channel in the description down below this video. He was recording this game and uploading it when he was diagnosed with leukemia and has been rushed off to hospital and is undergoing treatments. He has since returned home from hospital on a couple of occasions to take a bit of a break in between courses of treatment. And it seems he's responding well to, well, in some regards, his body's responding well to the medicine. In others, he's having lots of nasty side effects and allergic reactions, which is making it rather unpleasant for him. So, I'm playing this to show my support. Here we go. Now we just finished chapter 9, let's see what it says for chapter 10. After Leon is caught in a trap, it was Ashley's turn to save the day. But their joyous reunion is shortly lived, is short lived as she is captured by the enemy once again. Leon heads further into the castle to rescue her. After Leon is caught in a trap, it was Ashley's turn. You've used two different tenses in the same sentence there. This is a triple A game? Wow. Okay then, well we're gonna have a, a lot of work this time catching up. Uh oh. So, what's become of the Amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. I wonder if that body on that walkway was placed there because of me. Or if it was reconstructed for the cutscene. Changed your mind yet? Ada? Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Faith, Ada! Ada! <sighs> Perfect. Same as ever. Okay, so it would be easier if that cutscene was a, a single video file that plays. However, it's entirely possible it may be created in engine, showing the state of that location after I'd been through it. I'm not certain. I do like the fact that the almost analog whirring of the connection sounded ever so slightly like a dial tone of a telephone ringing, you know, an incoming call sound. So we've lost Ashley. She's been whisked away, well, slowly hauled away by that plodding creature. There were a number of cutscene cultists here who were killed by Leon, some up on the balconies, the one in there, and there may be some through here as they chased her, but, oh hello, elegant perfume bottle, the emerald, the sapphire. All things that Ashley picked up and should have dropped up there. Now, there was a ladder just around here that we cannot yet access. And we're probably going to want to retrace her steps. Now, she ran in here, took a right, headed through that door. We don't want to go out this way just yet, if it can be avoided. 
There's some bullets. When Ashley was fleeing through here, she was pursued by cultists and didn't have time to interact with anything. Merciless Knight. I seek a brave soul willing to dispose of that monstrosity of a knight. But be warned, it is much stronger than the others. He cut down our best with a single stroke. Should be a single stroke. but yeah. Request. Defeat the strong threat. Area Mausoleum. Reward eight old spinels. Progress none of one. Deal with it, Leon. Now, Ashley went through here and she... The door she bolted is now open. Now, we want to be careful in here. As there are a number of heavily armoured knights. And I think it might have been somewhere around here. I started hearing the creak, creak, cricking sound of one of those little statuettes. At some point. So this is where she picked up the blue lantern. At some point we're going to want to start upgrading all of our guns. And I should probably start upgrading this magnum. It's expensive to upgrade, however, um, if we're ever, when, when we finally get around to using it, we're going to want it to be good. We can make some bullets for a pistol. Or we can make some bullets for a machine gun. Which is probably going to need some, to be honest. It would be nice to make some for the rifle. We're going to need that at some point. Also, we're going to want some more bolts for the bolt thrower. As we only have three. We do have a knife we could turn into bolts. Oh. Whoops. Right. Craft. Six bolts. Wouldn't use any gunpowder, and it would give us some additional ammunition. However, we're a bit limited on space right now. So let's just play it safe. Ah, yes. Um, should there not be a rat through here that we need to kill? Yes, there should. Uh. There we go. Yes. And we should probably want to go and see the merchant at some point about that. However, we can also anticipate a lot of trouble through these doors. So, uh, this. Is pre library first clock room, right? There's a blue light here, meaning we should be relatively safe. That goes down, but we want to ooh, smash this. Leon once again displays casual disregard for the decor. However, we have heard the heavy tramp of armoured feet. This shelf section is open now. It was not open for Ashley. Ah. There we go. I wonder. I have this distinct notion. But I would like to try this. Yeah! Okay, I got it wrong. Try again. F. Yeah! 
Okay, back to here. About turn. And again! Leon's playing Dark Souls. This is Parry Souls, motherfucker. Parry Souls where you can actually do it instead of it being impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come here. sword. Hit me! Gonna do it again? Oh, mate, come on, that's dead angling. That's not allowed in dark, so well, it is. Oh, for God's sake. Right, fine. Yeah. Not bad, right? Third key lucky. And a spinel. Or spin out, rather, sorry. Um okay, that involved taking a little bit oh a lot more damage than I anticipated. Well, I have a big fish. And a little fish. And a not-so-cardboard box, so I'll eat a fish. There may be more in here, and you know what I should do? I should be prepared, because apparently Parry Souls is harder than you think, even when you're playing Resident Evil. There may be another knight in here. That's where I actually got the um, other piece of treasure. I'm not hearing any more, though. And we should be incredibly grateful to her for doing all this work in here. Also, we should smash this. Here, she read something. And here is a receptacle on the wall for a cubic device. Well, that doesn't match up. So. Almost. Um. Yes. There we go. This is a gun. CQBR assault rifle. I presume it's supposed to look like the word Cobra. Which we will not have room for, but we may... Center storage? Center storage. A fully automatic rifle, its optimized barrel length balances power and weight to allow for accurate shooting. Wait, no. Here's our current rifle. So it's four, five, six, seven by two. That is three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, sure. We will send this to storage instead. And then we will pop this over here. It is automatically equipped in our number four slot. It would be very nice to compare this. But now is um now is not the time. 
it does feel like a very fancy machine gun type weapon. It also does not have the telescopic sight. This is no sniper rifle. However, what was that creek? I do not hear it a second time. Well, I shall continue on then. No night here yet. There may be one up ahead. Just like Troubles. You have the old song? There may be troubles ahead. But while there's moonlight and laughter and love and romance, let's face the music and dance, which doesn't rhyme with romance unless you're fucking northern. Deal with it. Okay. Oh, come on, let's take him a piss. One. There we go. An Egyptian style cat statuette. Well, at that size, it's more of a statue. But we're having that. Also, this. Now, this has already been opened by Ashley. If she did not open it, Leon would not be able to do so because he does not inherit the set of four keys from her. Nothing here. So we shall head back towards the typewriter and we will consider our options. First off, dear cultist, do you have anything for me? Probably not. This is where we shot Ashley, so the thing that took her off through here probably... Nope, no idea where that went, because it would have had to come all the way back round downstairs and go past us to get to that hallway down there. So it's literally impossible for it to have escaped the building by any way that we can follow. I hate it when games do that. At least have like a locked door or something that it went through. To justify how it got away. It just magically disappeared. Did it like leap vertically through the ceiling which is whole and complete without a gap in it? Probably not. But let's go wait. By now we have some treasures. We can... Aha! Okay. Two reds and a yellow. Not ideal. We could get three reds. That's good. And I believe better than we were getting for this. So if we sell that and that, we can probably get some weapon upgrades. Additionally, we have a gun in storage we should check. Took care of her a quest, did ya? Ha! <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. Yeah, mate, but first we're gonna go compare some stuff like... Right. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to have to do then is pop this in there just to be able to compare these two. Um... Do I literally have to be talking to a merchant to compare these? I've got a horrible feeling I do. Look, that's fully automatic rifle, that's semi-automatic automatic rifle. So, uh, it can have the scope on. 
four off. Um, and that scope. Rifles and some automatic weapons. It can go on. Doesn't mean that it should. Because this can essentially be a backup machine gun in theory. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. But you certainly can, my friend. Got something new for you. Nah. Oh, that for. Because what I want to do. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price. Well, that's. Oh, I need to go with this one, man. don't I? Um. Knife needs care every once in a while. Could be the difference between life and death. Shift. Right. Original stuff. Yeah, that's right. Now. The Stingray. Had a higher damage originally, I see. Slightly higher precision originally. But lower in every other regard. And while currently upgraded. No, nope, just maximum. I wonder if that power includes the unique upgrade or not. Time is money, they both man. have free arms power against weak points, penetration power compatible with various scopes. This one can hold a lot more bullets and I can craft a lot of rifle bullets and I do find quite a few. The reload speed is nicer. Rate of fire much better. And the scope could make up for that pesky... Uh... Yeah. Alright. And if I'm selling this here rifle, because i got a better one... Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. I'm getting a decent amount of money back. Now... Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Increase rate of fire. Increase power. Oh, well, there we go. Right there, then. Okay. Barbara Siesta, whatever your name is. Ruby's all rubbish. It makes no difference. Uh, stingray? Right. Stingray. That's right. That's our choice to make. And we're also going to sell off this and this. Lovely. <laughs> Bosh. Thank you. Loads of money. Now, let's put that dosh to good use. If you want a fighting, try that on for size. Hold it first, though. Merchants got more things for us, and I don't just what mean the grenade launcher. Fire. Ooh, 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 ooh! Hang on a minute. Will that be come back any time? Now let's do some more comparisons. Well, oh, I've got something new for you, mate. A semi-automatic oh shotgun with a wide spread, making it effective at close range. Let's have a look at that then, eh? Obviously we want to compare it to our shotgun. The riot gun as it's called. More power. More ammunition. Loads more ammunition! Slower reload speed. Rate of fire. Significantly better. Well, it's semi-automatic. What do you expect? And precision, yeah, not quite so good, but then you generally don't need to be that precise up close with a shotgun. And if we crank it all the way up. Yeah, all right, look, it's, it's got some upgrades on it, okay. The damage is very tasty, though. Not 
not seen anything you like, stranger. Easy, easy. I had to examine the merchandise first. Mm -hmm. Right, gun? Mm -hmm. Gonna go. Mm -hmm. Hold on, though. Okay, about a two in everything. <laughs> Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. You'll be shooting off some nasty fireworks in quick succession with that. That I will, mate. That I will. Also be buying both of these. Stocking up while you can. Wise choice. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. What's this? Yeah, I suppose I could. Knowledge is power. Remember that, mate. Right. Armor took a few hits. Sorted. Give that the care it deserves. Knife. Absolutely shagged out. Deal with it. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Got a new gun. Rate of fire on a semi-automatic weapon can be increased. Increase ammunition capacity by two. Who's going to have that many shotgun bullets? If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. You're yeah, all right, all right. I'm working on it, See mate. See how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. There you are, as you wished. And now, I did say I should start upgrading this. Ooh, look at that, that is tasty, that is. Now, there was something here. I don't believe we can put this on our new... On this one. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> but, it's a thing of beauty. it has been new stability on its own anyway. Or was it this that it was added to? Oh well. Nah, it's this, isn't it? That's right. I, I did some checking after the last game. There is an, another machine gun that has a stock already built on, which is why the stock can't be attached to it. So I, I should still upgrade this one, but the other one is also nice to look forward to. Now. 36. Uh, ooh. I would like to save up for that. I really would. Time is money, mate. This does have a very slow reload speed. So I should probably be looking to increase that. See how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. Got a selection of good, pleasant travels. Right. So at this point, I just need much more gunpowder. Yellow herb would be nice. Um, right. I believe all the way back here, now that Ashley's not with us, we can go and risk opening that doorway. Nope. This doorway. And we probably want to go and fight the knights in the cellar before leaving 
this area completely. This time Leon has to ride a little cart on his own. Oh, that sways and wavers a lot. I may just need the machine gun instead. I kind of want to use my newfound rifle. We get them both. Yes. Give me a break over. All right. So we got a problem or two. Just you, my friend. And again. Oh, man, it's not fun. You what? Okay. Hell. Okay. Present for you. Die, motherfucker. Right. So that was rather unpleasant, and uh, we learned just how short on certain types of ammunition we are. Nice. We got another nice red barrel to replace the one we used recently. Now, I must say, it is a great relief that the suits of armor in this hall are not coming to life and attacking us. They must not have head modes inside them. Now that would have been far more dangerous had Ashley been with us. Okay, so that's full. What's not full? Okay, so that's shotgun shells. And this, we need to be making rifle shells, which apparently is going to need heavies. So being a rifle machine gun, it's essentially going to chew through our ammunition very quickly, which means we need to be making a lot more. So. All of those opportunities we've had to make rifle ammunition in the past, where we haven't always taken it up, are now... Nope. There we go. Are now greatly appreciated. Justicia statue. Okay. Now, I think, small key, right? Which we don't have.
Oh, we do have. Very well. And a gold bar. Excellent. We will doubtless be selling these for more upgrades. Now the merchant is here. But it feels only reasonable to go back to the one up ahead who's the same merchant but a different merchant. Because the one here didn't have the upgrades and I'm pretty sure he will now because of, of the way they're linked, sort of. Because he's got the new tools. We hit the waypoint for him to upgrade his upgrade capabilities. However, I think now... Hello. Oh, hello. In which case, I think we're not quite done here yet. So, something interesting about that red priest is whenever he... He was able to break me out of my right-click to aim by preparing to yell Gloria Las Plaga at me. Um, something about that broke Leon's stance. Probably the, so somewhere over there is a large resource which we will be wanting to use. It is down below. Okay. And I'm thinking it's going to be just out. Oh. Missed it. Okay. That's weird. Um, so somewhere there, those stairs... Okay, I need to backtrack a bit to get to that then. And I know I don't need to run in this area anymore because I'm not under attack, but it still feels very awkward to walk through this area. And trust me, at some point, those large resources will feel very worth attaining. So, this should now mm. really. So, that is the tower with the cannon. It is the tower of the cannon. Okay. So, somewhere around here. But surely, I would have... I think I need to be inside that tower. But I was inside that tower, running right past it. Okay, so I will try inside again. That's weird, because it's for loop back over here. So, it's this second corner, because I think of this area up here as being over there. But I'm, I'm now coming back across those stairs I've just ran up. Doubling back, coming down here. So. Somewhere around here. I don't see it up here. So somewhere... Apparently in this wall... Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. Oh, 
Wow, bizarre. Oh, so I'm loving the cone on that, by the way. But apparently somewhere in this wall, on this level, it is a large resource. Not seeing it at all. Okay. Let us see if I can... Because arguably, okay, so on the other side of the tower, over here, nope. It definitely coincides with the drop down. Ah. somewhere in this wall. Is it on the floor here? It, it's on this windowsill. There we go. I'm glad I went back for that because eventually I'm going to need it. Now, back over here, was there one? No. Yes a locked small key lock. We've had to pass up one small key in the first act of the game of the village uh, lock. This may be our second one we have to pass up. Which is fine. Again, just me proving my hypothesis that there were slightly less keys than locks. Of course, I may have missed some. I'm not entirely certain that was the case, however. So now we have this misty fog here, having killed all these cultists. This is interesting because I've seen a little bit of the Separate Ways DLC, and when Ada comes into this chamber, there is this misty fog on the floor, and she has to fight this whole illusion monster thing, the thing that took Ashley away and it makes clone copies of itself that aren't real and that can still do damage to her and all kinds of stuff and that seems to be her first major encounter so perhaps that is supposed to happen after Leon has passed through this point just a little thinking on the chronology there Although that doesn't entirely make sense. So she could go there, have the Misty Fog encounter, then Leon could come, no Misty Fog, then come back, then there's Misty Fog again. So maybe she went there after the first time Leon passed through that chamber. But that doesn't make sense because she goes there and fights for things shortly after breaking Louis out of prison. So, yeah, rescuing him from the cultists. Absolutely, mate. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell you some shit, and you're going to sell me some upgrades. Probably just for one, to be honest. Thank you. Blue, yellow. If we can get a red one, we can get three colors. Hmm.
That's an expensive Your repair are in good hands, for a small mate. amount of damage. I'll see you right. But one I should almost certainly enjoy. Um, if we could get 3,000 more, that would be very nice. Oh, they cost... These three weapons all cost 36,000 for the level 3 power upgrade. Interesting. Hmm. Since I'm using Not this at a closer like, range stranger. than the average rifle, reload speed on it is a more important upgrade than on the others. Since it empties itself fairly quickly, having a few extra bullets in there would help keep it shooting a little bit longer. Try that on for size. Wielding. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Now, I think it's time to go and live dangerously. Um, I also think I might need to drastically rethink that. <coughs> hmm. Do we need more bullets? Do we need better bullets? The answer is always yes. It may be time to go and try a bit of parry souls. In which case, I probably should have fixed Leon's armor. Now, let's see. Uh, we got fish, we got first aid spray, we got a pretty much full heal. We have a lot of healing items. What we do not have is a lot of gunpowder to make use of all these resources. So, we'll pop that down there. Pop this over here. And shunt this sideways just in case we need to... You know. Ooh. Yes. No. We're putting that on the grenade shortcut. Is everything fully loaded? Not even remotely. Should we do something about that? Absolutely. Um, can we examine? We don't know if it has the... Um, hmm. Penetrating power of these... Now, we have theoretically defeated all armor here in the library. We've just walked through some on the floor. I'm going to attempt to recreate those sounds. Yes, good. Not armor moving around after us. Now, if we are going to go and fight that golden suit of armor in the cellar, 
blue light here, remember, then it's going to be a tough fight. It probably won't be unaccompanied. There's going to be some suits of armor there with it. There are some blue lights down there, so not all suits of armor will be after us. I, I feel safer having the shotgun ready. I shouldn't, but I do. It feels like it's going to rip through helmets. We have not... There definitely seem to be less suits of armor than when Ashley was here. Just money. Not gunpowder. That is a different kind of vase, not the kind we can smash. Let's prepare ourselves for campaign dump shit. It's dark. I see red lights. What do red lights mean? Probably something bad. Next up, we do have a scope that we probably should not attach to this just yet. But, a golden suit of armor with a red glint behind the eye slits. The door has closed behind us. These suits of armor here, as we've already determined of Ashley, these ones around the edges are hollow. It's the ones that were here that are a danger. Now, behind him, we see a number of suits of armor who were pursuing Ashley, who she had to crawl under to escape. Um, now going to remove the scope from this. I'm trying to see these suits of armor here. One, two, are standing. Let's get that scope back on. with swords raised to either side of the golden armor. Also, Leon is not at full health. So we're going to take the scope off. kidding. Okay, that's a that's that's reload worthy that is. Immune to damage until we get closer. That's not right at all. In which case we better get our shotgun ready. Um I believe I have Hmm. Examine. Just want to check we got our nice tasty upgrades. There's an easier way of doing this. At the Grand Hall, we have now taken that treasure. So, obviously, 
shotgun for close range. We can head through this clock and pick up this. Being slightly randomized, it may not be money this time. It's still money. Maybe it's not as slightly randomized as hello. <coughs> Gunpowder? No, bullets. Look, we can work with bullets, all right? Bullets are Leon's currency, after all. Probably should have gone back for that armor repair. Okay, so we know there's three suits of armor. That's not going to be fun. Excellent. Wow, everything froze. Like the whole game hung. Wow. This can't be a good sign. Uh, All right. Time to get medieval on your ass. Okay, Leon, run like fuck. Not good. Okay, try that again. I dare you. Actually, don't. Okay, first off, what the fuck happened to- oh. Okay, equip. No, no, no. Shortcut number two. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Not ideal. Okay. Good. We're getting somewhere. Uh, not so good, actually. Okay, wait. Aha! Is the third suit of armor that we've already moved the helmet from. Okay, good. That's right, Leon, keep on running. Uh, take that, perfect. Nice to know that they can still take damage. And run. Wherever they are, run. Okay, you cannot counter that. A nice idea, but no. Shit. Okay, it's still moving. Can we get the helmet off it?
Okay. Bit of an issue. Was wanting to save this for something rather more serious. Keep going. Leon. Okay, this way, please. And six. I said six. Please let that be. Yeah, that's right. Yes. A ruby, a yellow diamond. And far too much wasted ammunition. We have one, two, three empty guns. And we use one or two bullets from our Magnum. We made a lot of space in the inventory. Um, not ideal though. What we can do with that, however, is go boop, boop, boop for 26,000. Mm. Three reds might be better. So we did this for the spinels. We did not do this for the ammunition because, yeah, bit of a poor trade. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it to the next typewriter in reasonably good shape. Also, I did get to parry some knights in the castle. Leon is definitely playing Dark Souls. Although now Leon stops playing Dark Souls. Those are the last knights he gets to fight and it will feel more like Resident Evil again. I was hoping to get to counter them after parrying a little bit more often. Uh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? I mean, not necessarily. This is where we killed that rat, after all. And we're back out here again. I'm looking in case one of those little monstrosities is around here, but I don't believe it is. So I thought I heard it in uh, a clock room, isn't it? Okay, fine. Well, let's go back and see the merchant then. In theory, it wouldn't be very fair for them to place it in the previous chapter where Ashley could discover oh, I it. See you took care of a request. Well done. <laughs> yeah, good fucking hurt, mate. Give me my reward. Good and mental. What's new? What is new? Some things money can't. Something new here by under trade. Is it this? Large resources. Large resources would be rifle ammunition. Uh, 
We also have enough for this. Red herbs would be nice. This is my new thing. Gunpowder. I think we need this. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Let's sell that. A deal well struck. <laughs> Mend the knife. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Mend the armor. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Right. Now. That's not 36,000 anymore. That's 35,000. A well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill, friend. Is there some kind of reputation system that made that cheaper? I don't know, but it's very tasty. Right, so. We should start upgrading this for the times when we finally get to use it. Because otherwise, we'll be waiting for ages to use it, and when we finally do, it'll be unimpressive. I mean, Power 18 is pretty bloody impressive. Now, ooh, we do need to start upgrading the power on this though, urgently. Time is money, mate. So, ten point eight. Power on this is terrible. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like Until yourself we can get should that. notice the difference right away. And while it'd be tempting to get a couple more spinels and grab the exclusive upgrade Your ticket. Your weapons are in good hands, mate. I'll see you right. Grabbing the upgrade early would be nice, but it would also be really nice to just not do that and to earn it and achieve it later on and get that feeling of having worked for it. I may need to get one of these. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Anything else? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> we need shotgun bullets. We can't make those. We need rifle bullets. We can make those. Harder. Mm. And I am gonna save again just in case. And I know we could go away and come back later for the nights when we got a bit more ammunition. That feels very dishonest when we've already done it. Oh, oh, mm. Mm. I haven't really made a lot of progress, so I think I should absolutely go through these doors. Oh, I've just remembered something. Way back over, I want to say here. Let's see, is that the window? It's like fireplace window, uh, place, place where the puzzle was, right? Before this section. Um, yeah, where we could go, or it's out here. Um, no, that's down in the cellar. This is, no, I, I think it is back up here, yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's a couple more knights in there. We could theoretically go fight them for spinels at one point too. I may need to return and do that. Oh, okay. I'll do it this way. 
We have an autosave. That's going to be fun. There's something there. It's not pretty. Whatever that rock is, it's got antenna. Two of them. That is a new kind of monster. And we do not want to fight it anytime soon. It's a kind of big insect thing from hell. These creatures make an interesting chittering sound. There's an area up ahead where there's a large amount of them and there's a specific chittering sound that plays in the background, which is, I suppose, being created by all of them down in their hive. It's just on the other side of that door. And it really, really, really reminds me of one of the music tracks from the original Diablo back in the mid-90s. This is not opening. It's probably bolted or barred from the other side. You know what? Leon just reminded me I should probably reload my gun. Our armor's in good shape. Gunpowder. Hello. We could make more bullets for our pistol. Oh, oh we might have to. Wait. That feels like a worthy investment. Okay. Is there a way? F it! I want you. Okay, fuck off. I'll stab you then. I want you here when I fight you, I want you to fall on the floor and die. Yes, please. Is that... Nope. That's dead. Bullets and gunpowder. Only free. We can't make anything with free. But we are that little bit closer. So yeah, we could have made some shotgun bullets now. That would have been really nice. Uh, I think the machine gun's going to stand us in good stead, however. Oh... Leon will now loudly break furniture. And a barrel's not really furniture, is it? Without giving away his position. Hello. <laughs> Ravens. Outside. I don't think it's worth shooting these ones or even trying. There is a large clock tower, similar to Big Ben, that is clearly undergoing repair work or renovations. There's scaffolding there. So they're either doing something to the clock to repair and mend it, or it has become unsafe and needs actual serious repair work. The scaffolding would imply some kind of renovations. Because we have ancient monuments in this country that are in pretty good shape.
I'm checking here for things before. Okay, what we got? Chronicles of Pursuit. July, two years since my awakening. Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve upon the flaws of our human form, to seek perfection as observed in our arthropodal siblings. To this cause I shall willingly devote my life. January, four years since my awakening. My efforts tra to transfuse the black liquid into the body are at the precipice of success. The womb is the key. A pure soul proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject. January, six years since my awakening. I have named these sacred larvae carried in the wombs of the chosen, you too after my own. They shall carry the prestige of my family name as if I had spawned them of my own flesh. The you two are now close to the size of, an ad of adult humans, and they continue to feed and multiply. I have successfully created a new species of you two fans. Didn't they break up at one point many years ago? Master Ramon has recognised my efforts and blessed me with his praise. He has taken to you two, calling them... Novistador, meaning the unseen. I have been told that His Holiness Lord Sadler himself has also expressed pleasure with my work. What an extraordinary honour this is! I can hardly see the tip of my quill through the tears of joy. His humble servant, Isidro Uriarte Talavera. We will come across more writings by Isidro Uriarte Talavera. Of the course of our adventure. And now it's going to get dangerous. This is the hall. Where we shall hear the sound. That sounds remarkably like it's either the level 5 to 8 dungeon levels. Or the level 9 to 12 dungeon levels where the music track would go into this trembling, trickling sound, like water, um, but orchestral, in the original Diablo game. Not the level 13 to 16 final dungeon levels, or the level 1 to 4 initial levels. Now, what's this? Gunpowder. Excellent. Now, it would, hello, be wise to take my rifle and say, I see you. Wow, Didn't mean to fire twice. Take your death as well. Hurry, Leon. Okay, we're getting a lot of gunpowder. That's good. What's not good is the sound of this bugger coming in to die. Now, look, would you please come over the balcony? Thank you. And there it is. That tinkling. Sat with a scratching too. Mate, I don't know what you were trying to attack, but I'm all the way over here. See another. Right, let's see now. 
Not quite enough. We got ten. Need two more. It may return. And in fact, probably shall. Hello. Probably shouldn't have double tapped. Especially as I did actually. Yes. Oh, for God's sake, that was a. And we can kick it. So over there is the one that we shot. Okay, many bullets, no more powder. Uh, we seriously need to reload our gun. I see ladder. Fear not the ladder. Fear their ability to blend in with their surroundings. The natural camouflage, it makes them look like rocks. Okay, uh, at this point, I may very well need this. Hang on. Let's at least reload that. What else do we have at our disposal? Not very much. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to have to make more bullets from a pistol unless I can find more. So, we should not run. We should be... I see you. Oh, shit. How's our machine gun looking? Fired 13 bullets. Sapphire. So we're getting very good. Perfect. I hit the button to equip the gun instead of the button to reload the gun. It's fine. We all do these things. There's a door there. I will want to... Shit. Just for one direction. Okay, good. Contemporaries of you two. Ironically, are you coming in for more? You are coming in for more. Okay. That was a tough one. F you, you bastard. Okay, this cannot be opened from this side. It is opened later on. Oh, shit. Oh, God! They keep coming. Okay, that'll do it. Again, I believe there is a limited shit supply of them. In those pits. Or in the area at all. And they will come out to attack. What we got? Yes. Okay. Lovely. Take it. Sell it. Don't get killed. Move on. There was a ladder. I see it. And it moved already. The 
way it just launched itself so quickly through the air without any where where I see you This does not feel safe. We need a big heal. There we go. I'm aware we got these, but extending our health track seemed like a really good idea at the time. Also, we're on 15 gunpowder. We have no bullets for our shotgun. We have bullets for our shotgun. It feels like an emotionally reassuring weapon to have in this area. Let's get that and reload. And drop down like a menu. Been a little while since I said that, hasn't it? Now. Oh god. Yeah, this is not something to sprint through. The corners are not conducive to high speed. I'm just going to open this, okay? So it was a bolt and not a bar. Fuck off it before it explodes, Leon. You'll be covered in disgusting gunk. Okay. You gonna come? Whoop. Shit. We don't want it to die in there. We want it to die up here. Preferably with its friends. Carefully, all is far from silent. And there's a delightful green herb waiting for us. It is not called Hancock, that would be stupid. Hello. I see things. Things which shall be mine. But first, I have a second port colours to open. First things first, we look for any more. And we say, you mate, are getting shot. We 
then we can continue our search. Oh, hello. Ah! Okay, no. Okay. Corners. That may, that four is usually enough. Okay. And I think it's now silent. <laughs> Ominously so. Oh, your beauty. Uh, I didn't extend the health track, did I? Due to lack of a yellow herb. I just somehow thought I might have done. Okay, with 11, I can make more of these. I should probably make more of these. Uh, ooh. Or, you know. I think just... I want to hold off and make more ammunition for my shotgun. I really do. But 29 bullets for pistol is not pretty. There we go. Okay. This may generate more foes. I don't know. I know games sometimes like to do this. If they come rising out of the pits now to assail me, I shall know for certain. However, I'm also thinking, looking at the episode length, I should probably end it here. And go back to the last typewriter. I know it's not very dramatic and I probably should just continue. But if I do that, I think it may be a long... You know what? No, I do want to go back this way. I think the merchant might have had another large resource for me to purchase. However, I should probably get my knife and armor fixed. At least my knife and my armor. Armor first, but knife is slightly more precious at times. Ooh, you have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, no kidding. Got it's called insect Ica. Good things on sale, stranger. What can I sell? This. Okay. A deal well struck. <laughs> Ooh. Easy work. Good luck to you, stranger. At this point, I can't afford any more weapon upgrades. Anything else will come back any time. I'm thinking in terms of pacing, what I can remember for the upcoming segment. I think there's no typewriter, a section like that. Uh, section a bit... Of, yeah, I think saving here is a good idea. It probably is a decent idea to... Oh, goodness, yeah. There we go. Well, with that in mind, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed this one. While we haven't necessarily made a lot of progress in terms of exploring the area as a whole, uh... 
No, we have. We, we've made a decent amount of progress. It's just that we've ended up back pretty much where we started. But we've um, cleared out all this section, all this section. We're going to go do this section in a bit. Um, there's apparently treasure there, which I don't need to know about just yet. And uh, it's going to be tough. Right, well... In that case, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode, where Leon will once again be experiencing a bit of an ammunition shortage. Oh, that could actually be pretty nasty. Oh, well. It is what it is, I suppose. Hang on. Let's put these back on here, shall we? At least that way we have some grenades. And I'll save that again, just to be on the safe side. All right, guys really ending the episode this time if you want to go look at lottery's channel be my guest you know link should be down there and hey tim if you're watching this keep it up man we're on your side bye bye everyone